how do we talk to our boys? Because boys are very tricky and hard to talk to because you say to them, how was your day? And they say, fine. What'd you do at school today? Nothing. So how do you get past that? I'm gonna give you my best information about this from the boys. Number one, I want you to think about that the foundation of getting your son to talk to you about the swim party or talk to you about something that's happening in the playground if you have a younger kid or talking to you about a horrible thing that happened to him, maybe on an athletic team, maybe on the debate team, maybe on, at, at a party as he gets older, that it starts with the foundation. I swear to you, this is what the boys are telling me. I swear to you. What they're saying is, you want me to talk to you? Stop interrogating me in the car. Now, I want to apologize on behalf of experts all over the country that we have been saying to you for a very long time, when you get your kid in the car, ask them all sorts of questions, which, by the way, means that your child is trapped, which is exactly the way that your child feels. So here's what I would suggest. I mean, here's what happens. This is what the boys are reporting. They're, they've been walking around school all day or dealing with this stuff all day, and basically all boys and girls have to walk around with some kind of armor that they walk around school with. It could, again, be a wonderful school with wonderful teachers, and kids are still going to walk down the hallway with a particular kind of armor so they can get through the day. So when they get into your car at the end of that day, if you have an emotionally healthy relationship with your child, they want to relax. They want to decompress. So when you ask them these well-meaning questions, how was your day? What happened? What were the five most important things that happened to you today? <laughs> Which is what one of the boys reported. My, one of my favorite quotes in the book is, every day, every day. I get into the car and my mother says, tell me the five most important things that happened to you today. And he just looked at me and he was like, I mean, I have to tell you, I'll just be straight. He was like, my mother is Puerto Rican and Jewish. Every day. <laughs> and then he said, she exhausts me. <laughs> now, here's what I want you to think about. And if we think about it from the boy's perspective, it makes so much sense. And this is what they said to me. Imagine if my mother or father came home from a very difficult day at work. And the first thing that I did when I saw them was, so, hi, how was work today? Did you get all of your emails done? Did you do that? Did you have that meeting? Did you confront the person who's been undermining you the entire time? <laughs> did you talk about it with them? How did it go? Well, really? You don't think it went really well? It looks like you don't really didn't do really well. So maybe you need to do it better. Should we talk about this? Can you understand from the boy's, boy's point of view, they're like, please stop, please stop. So they literally, when this came up, it was one of the first things that came up when I was doing the research. And I started doing this around the country and asking about this. It was literally, it was like we were in church. The boys, New Orleans, the boarding schools, Southern California, would get up out of their seats and start doing like, hallelujah. I swear to you, two of the boys did that and slapping their hands and being, please, please tell my parents to stop doing this. And I promised them that when I had the opportunity that I would share with you how difficult that is. Now, also to be fair, because I, my job was also to say, excuse me, um, parents are people. We have a right to know what's going on in your life. So how do they want to be talked to? So this is my best suggestion. My best suggestion is when they get in the car, you say, hey, What's up? With no like, just like, hey, what's up? Not like, hey, what's up, right? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Get into the car, be chill, be relaxed, be silent. Allow there to be some silence in the, in the space of the car. We have no silence anymore in our lives at all. Just try it for a minute. I'm not talking about the whole ride home. I'm talking about try one minute of silence. Just really, one minute. Do not ask them anything about their day besides, like, just be with them. Just be with them. 